back. We are back. In Oxford, Michigan to minister to, to you. you. And we're excited about doing it, aren't we? Absolutely. We want to give you on these videos just little nuggets of truth, something that you can meditate on from the Word of God, uh, just something fresh that the Holy Spirit has given us. Now, what we want to talk about here is about dead religion. Yes. See, a lot of people are so caught up with traditions mm -hmm. and rituals, just something that they can do. The Bible calls it a dead work. Right. A dead work, it means they're trying to, to earn favor with God. Trying to earn their way into heaven. Earn their way into heaven. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And it's not what God wants for us. He wants us to have a an intimate relationship, like, yes. like a husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, friendship. He wants it all. He wants to be our lover. He wants to be our friend. He wants to be our comforter. Mm -hmm. He wants to be our strength. He wants to be everything. He everything. wants to be in a relationship with you. Right at us. the center. Yes. you got to put him at the center of your life. And I, I posted mm -hmm. uh, a, a post on Facebook today that said, if Christians who are stuck in toxic uh, relationships who are trying to hold on to those toxic relationships, if they would put half of the energy right. into that, the relationship with God, as much as they are holding on to that messed up relationship, mm. yes. look out, that, is, that relationship with God would be supernatural. Mm -hmm. That is such a strong point, too. And it's just like my post I put on Facebook today about, I, heard, I overheard somebody at work talking about he was buying a bunch of hams for the holidays for people. And, and this lady said to him, oh, you, you're you definitely going to have a mansion in heaven. But this guy I know does not have an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ. He doesn't believe in Jesus Christ. And the word is clear. It says Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And the only way to the Father is through him. So it's not going to, he's not going to get in with his hands. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know, there, let's put it this way. There are a lot of great people who did nice things right? in hell right now. That's true. And that's, that is a startling truth. And that is why we feel it's so important and it's on our hearts to, to minister to people and, and bring them out of dead religion or bring them out of no religion at all right. and have them form that relationship with our creator that he wants for us. He is so good. He yeah. is so good to us and he wants us in relationship with him. So we have our heart is to draw people out of that dead religion and into that intimate relationship with God. It's just like um, when you meet somebody and you fall in love with them. That is what God wants. He wants us to just fall madly, deeply in love with them. And when you are, you, you spend your Saturday night with your significant other doing videos like this and, and having a ball doing it. Just yeah. our heart is God. We, we want, we, we, everything we want in life is just to shine God's love through us. And, and that's what you'll want when you're filled with his word and his presence. Yes. And don't let anybody take you off course mm. from the will of God for your life. I don't care if it's a spouse, right. a backslidden, unbelieving spouse. Don't let them do it. Because here's the fact. On judgment day, mm. God is going to say, what did you do with your life and your relationship with That's me? That's true. It's, it's going to be on us. So make sure you put God first. Don't let anybody take you off course. And develop a relationship with the Holy Spirit. And, and you know what? That flows right into our, our prayer request. Um, on these short little broadcasts or whatever you call it, videos, we are accepting prayer requests, questions from you that we will answer. If you have a question, if you have a prayer request, just put it on Facebook yep. and we will we will address it in these broadcasts. I keep calling broadcasts. Videos, videos. broadcasts, little teachings, yeah, so little nuggets. Tonight we had Alicia from Grand Rapids, who actually is a friend of both of ours on Facebook. And she wanted us to pray for her husband who does not have that relationship with the Lord. And like you just said, it is important for you, Alicia, to keep cultivating your relationship with the yes. Lord. Because Don't then, stop. Because then once that's cultivated, you really can shine the light of Christ through to your husband. So we want to lift Alicia up in prayer yes. right now because these are going to be really short videos. And um, we just want to start by, by yeah. praying for Alicia and her husband. So, Father God, yes. Lord, we come to you tonight, and yes. we're in agreement with each other, with Alicia, with, with all of the people watching this video, Lord. We come to agreement, God, that, 
that, Lord, you would go to her house tonight, God, yes. and you would give her husband dreams and visions and prick his heart, God, yes. to serve you, God, to form that relationship with you, God, that he would desire that, Lord, that, that you would um, have people cross his path, God. You would... You would bring in divine appointments yes. for her husband, Lord, that they they would lead him to you. Lord, that they, they would lead him to you, God, and that he would want to serve you with Alicia. And, Lord, that yes. he would want to be the man of God that you've called him to be. Not only just the man of God, but also to be the man of God for her household. So, Lord, I lift up, I lift him up to you tonight. I lift up Alicia tonight, Lord. Fill her with your strength, your wisdom, your love, your peace. Yes your joy, God. Fill her with all the fruits of the Spirit, God, so that, Lord, she can she can just, um, just totally radiate you and your love and yes. your plan and your That's purpose, it. God. Lord, I pray for strength for Alicia tonight, God. I thank you, God, that even tonight, Lord, even right now, God, you are filling their house with your yes. manifest presence. Yes. That's another thing we need to talk about is, is the manifest presence of God. Oh, the manifest presence of God is so amazing mm -hmm. once you get a taste and you experience it you see God wants you to experience him it's not a just about not just about knowing him it's about experiencing yes. him and when you take time out when you put him as priority mm -hmm. turn on some praise music yes. lift your hands start praising him start talking to him I'm telling you ask him invite his mm -hmm. presence his manifest presence and glory into your home into your situation I'm telling you you will feel it you, you will. can tangibly you will. feel his presence yes. it's amazing once you experience it there is nothing else that will satisfy nothing nothing and I think sometimes people think I'm a little I think they're they think I'm crazy for or they don't even know they just don't know they just don't know they just don't know and, and until you actually get into that presence of God you're not going to experience it, and he'll take where your faith is at right now and mix it with with his love, and and he will show up. He right. will show up in a way where you know that you know that you know that it's God filling your house and filling your your whole um, atmosphere with his presence. Absolutely. So, Lord, I just I want to put a stamp on Alicia's um, prayer. So, in Jesus' name, we pray. Yes. Amen for that prayer. We Did you agree. want to add anything to that prayer? Well, I just pray right now that Alicia's husband would have a holy dissatisfaction. That everything else in mm. his life, yes, that God. there would just be a dissatisfaction. Yes, Father God. And he would experience it, that all false satisfaction would be removed right now in the name of Jesus. What an honor it is to come and minister to you on these we will be posting these every so often here. So make sure, like Marion said, to post your prayer requests, any questions, any topics you want us to minister to you about. Make sure you post them under this video um, on our wall or, or whatever. And we want to make sure we want to minister to you. Yes, we love you. And God loves you. And he wants a relationship with you if you don't already have one. So we thank you um, for this time. Press in and jump in the river.